think of all the cloudy days in Chicago or Frankfurt or uh, London, and those clouds are often uh, at temperatures amenable to the production of inadvertent ice by aircraft. And we identified the types of aircraft which, which can produce the phenomena as being almost any, anything. Propeller aircraft generate the, the feature or hole punches or inadvertently seed clouds at temperatures below about minus 10 degrees centigrade. Jet aircraft somewhat lower and so with 5,000 takeoffs and landings a year, several hundred flights a day, you could easily imagine that uh, the skies would be filled with inadvertently produced ice particles. And so we looked at uh, areas within a 100 kilometer uh, diameter of major airports and found how often using uh, remote sensing data from two satellites, CloudSat and Calypso, how often conditions suitable to produce in it, uh, for aircraft to inadvertently produce precipitation occurs around these airports. And in fact, we estimate that could be as much as 5% of the time and quite a bit more in the winter where you can imagine cloudy skies covering the large areas. Well, those areas may indeed get uh, additional enhanced precipitation in situations where they might not be otherwise uh, snow production. There are two methods which have been identified in the production of ice inadvertently, that is inadvertent cloud seeding. The first has to do with propeller aircraft. And in the mid-1980s, a research team um, led by Peter Hobbs and Art Rangno of University of Washington identified what they thought were uh, ice crystals produced by the research aircraft they were flying in, which, were, which was a propeller aircraft. And so they would go out through a cloud layer and then they would come back and they find many, a trail of ice crystals. And they identified, they and uh, people who followed, identified the process by which this occurs. And what happens is as the blades are spinning, um, <clears throat> the aircraft moves forward by thrust. And the thrust pushes air behind the propeller blades by the engines. And in the process of pushing, the air expands, and that cools the air as much as 30 degrees centigrade, and cloud drops freeze spontaneously without the need for nuclei at temperatures of minus 40. And so that was a main process. But this process, early on, hole punch clouds were often linked to jet aircraft, and I couldn't quite understand that until I read a theoretical study of what happens over the wings of jet aircraft which are flying at their cruise velocities. And what happens there is there's cooling over the wings as the air passes over the wings and that gives the lift or the buoyancy to the airplane. The pressure underneath the, the wing is, is higher than over the wing, which allows the plane to climb. Well, in that process of, of uh, lowering the pressure, the air temperature is cooled as much as 20 degrees centigrade, again, producing this process. And we, in our article in Science, identified every imaginable uh, propeller, um, both com private and commercial, and jet aircraft, private and commercial, business, and military aircraft that are producing hole punch, that can produce hole punch clouds, or at least inadvertently seed clouds. Well, in the winter time, I suspect that perhaps one third of the time, the conditions would be suitable for this inadvertent cloud seeding. And 
then uh, with all the aircraft operations during those periods, the sky could be covered with inadvertently produced snow, which would fall to the surface. And clearly more study is needed to ascertain how much additional precipitation is produced. But the, there can be significant implications. Uh, many times one sees an overcast. Just think of the number of times, for example, in Seattle, where there's low level cloud but very little precipitation. And so this enhanced precipitation could affect aircraft operations because in the, pro in the event that there's no snow, just low level cloud, uh, basically, um, uh, let's say, uh, de-icing operations are not necessary. But with snow, even light snow, de-icing could be uh, an important uh, contribution to the efforts made in an airport to get aircraft aloft, and also cost, and light snow uh, could affect highway driving as well. But more study using radar data, both within the affected areas and outside, are needed to look at the effect.